guys and girls, thanks for coming back for first grade words part five. This is the final list of first grade words. You made it to the end of all the first grade words. Congratulations, great job. As a quick reminder, we practice our high frequency words because they are in our reading. We use them when we are speaking and we can use them in our writing. Here's our snap words to help us with our picture and our motion and our sentence. This is the word people. The word people is spelled P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. The clue in this picture that tells me this is the word people is we see lots of people doing different things. Our motion for the word people is to point to ourselves and then to another person and then to the imaginary people. A lot of people are walking to work. People. This is the word once. The word once is spelled O N C. E. The clue that tells me this is the word once is there's the vines wrapped in like a fairy tale story once upon a time. Our motion for the word once is to stand like we're holding a book and reading it to someone else. Once upon a time. Once we're reading a book to someone once. Should. This is the word should. The word should is spelled S-H-O-U-L-D. The clue that tells me this is the word should is we see the big mess and it says we should clean up this mess. You should clean up this mess. They're pointing to the girl. Our motion for the word should is to shake our finger toward a pretend mess. You should clean this up. You should pick up your toys. This is the word should. This is the word give. The word give is spelled G-I-V-E. The clue that tells me this is the word give is they have presents that they're ready to give to someone. Our motion for the word give is to pretend to hand some a present to someone. Give, we will give presents. Give. This is the word use. The word use is spelled U-S-E. Our clue that tells us this is the word use is the, they're using paint to paint on the walls with their paintbrush. They will use the paintbrush. Our motion for the word use is to pretend to paint with a brush. Use. They let us use their paintbrushes. Use. This is the word any. The word any is spelled A-N-Y. The clue that tells me this is the word any if she's looking down and she doesn't see any, it's empty. There isn't any. Our motion for the word any is to hold up two hands like the girl. Any, I don't have any. This is the word new. The word new is spelled N-E-W. The clue that tells me this is the word new is we see the price tag on the word new. 
When we buy something new, it has a price tag on it. Our motion for the word new is to pretend to hold up an object, something we just brought new and say, oh, new, this is brand new. New. This is the word would. The word would is spelled W O U L D. The clue that tells me this is the word would is they're holding out their hand. Like, would you hold my hand? Would. Our motion from for the word would is to slightly bend from your waist and move your arms like you're inviting someone in. Would you like to come in? Would. Would you like to come in? The word is would. This is the word away. The word away is spelled A-W-A-Y. The clue that tells me this is the word away is the hand on the Y is swishing it away, going away. Our motion for the word away, so put our arm out to the side with our hand hanging down and to motion it away from ourselves. Away. Go away. Away. And that's it, boys and girls. You've made it through all the first grade high frequency words. We are so proud of you. Keep up the hard work. Thanks for watching.